Hey everyone, this is Pig for Life, and today's P4O review will be taking a look at the newest figure and exclusive from Mastermind Creations from their reformatted line, and this is R11D Demonicus Promenon, the Moratorus Sovereign, and this is a redeco uh, for the exclusive for the Singapore game toy and or toy game and comic convention that happened the other month. So it is a redeco of their R11 uh, Seraphicus Promenon, I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, but basically the Nova Prime, so this is kind of their nemesis Nova Prime, I guess you can call it that. So let's go ahead and get started with packaging review. So it comes in two boxes. One is for the core bot here. Can you see it? And it's, it's very much in the same style as the um, other re reformatted line. Nice cool CG render of the Dark Deco. Get to see him with armored up and such and so forth. And then the only other difference is instead of just having the flap here, where which you do have, so you can see him in all his Corbot glory. I don't know if you can see that based on the lights I have here. But he also has the comic, but it's integrated into the flap. So you can actually see the comic going on here. And it's a short few pages, but still cool inclusion. The other box is for the trailer and armor piece. I forget what they called it. The, the cradle, something like a power cradle. And it's the same deal as the other box, except it doesn't have the viewing flap. The last, the R11 had a flap. You can open it up. And you can see the trailer. So I'm kind of bummed that they don't have that. But it does still have some of the nice pictures. And uh, you can see the biggest difference here is the dark deco. But the armor is all basically chromed out. Okay, and we'll take a really good look at that once we get the sky open. But warning labels and such and so forth. So that's really it for the packaging review. Uh, very much the same as what we've gotten. But a little bit of surprise is going on. So here we are out of packaging. And as you can see, you do get some extra things. You get the plastic biostat card for Demonicus. You get his new designation as well as his new render and his blinged out colors. And on the back, you get his stats. Pretty standard for MMC. The instructions are actually different because they're smaller and they also don't have the comics, which were included in the fold out on the box. And it folds out like this, as opposed to a book booklet, which we're used to getting from them. So as you can see, the things that you get with this guy are the core bot, the power armor, the uh, matrix, the instructions, and the st bio stack card. You get the stun revolver here and the stellar saber. All right, and then you get the instructions that get you into the various forms. But we'll get into that later. So let's go ahead and start off with the core bot. As before, he does come partially un untransformed. So what we'll do is go ahead and do that. The first thing is get the backpack up and there's these clips that go into these slots. You just push that in. There we go. And then you have that in place. You can split the legs and get these knee guards up. Same thing with the shoulder guards. Fan those out. And the last thing is down here, we'll go ahead and open up these little filler pieces on the inside of the leg. And with that, you have him and his fully transformed core bot mode. Doing a quick 360, it looks very nice. The deco is really cool. Again, it's in the same kind of what we're familiar with with the Nemesis or Scourge decos where it's black and it has that kind of teal, metallic teal color with some red in there. His eyes are metallic red. Very nice deco. His translucent pieces are also red all over, which make it look really, really nice. And then he has some kind of uh, bluish, bluish colored... Uh, silver paint on these areas here, which again look really nice. I, I really like this deco. It looks very cool. And just 
Oh, honestly, he just looks mean. He, all, all these nemesis decos just look, make them look so mean and dark. And I really like this look overall. So let's go ahead and bring in Seraphicus, the regular deco. And while this this looks really nice too, I like the look. Um, it black just looks so much sleeker, right? Like, let's just be real. And the red again makes it pop a lot. Is this backpack not fully on? Looks like it's sticking out at a weird angle. Just really quick with the um, review of the robot mode, he does. Oops, sorry, that untabbed. He does have kind of like a double ball peg, so at the base of the neck and also at the head itself. So you get a lot of articulation there. He's on uh, swivels here. And his shoulders, as, as before, are on that kind of double, double shoulder joint, which is used for transformation. But sometimes it comes loose here. Oh, I don't remember if that was the case. But anyway, you can go around this way. Shoulders can kind of go in and out. Again, for shoulder. Uh, a transformation mostly. He does have a bicep swivel. He does have a forearm swivel. He does have double jointed elbows. It's not a whole lot of extra because of the pauldron and just the shape of his Popeye forearms, but he does have uh, double jointed elbows. His fists are on a ball peg. And then his fingers, he has a ball jointed thumb. And then um, I believe all individually pinned and molded fingers. All right. Coming down to the midsection here, he does have a waist swivel that goes all the way around. No ab crunch. He does have ratcheted thighs going forward and back. Very clicky like the feral cons, going out to the side like that. He does have a lower thigh swivel here. He does have a nice knee bend. He actually has two knee joints, I believe. One at the top here and one at the lower piece, but the lower one is a little bit tighter. I don't remember if you can actually even use this in um, this mode. Maybe not. I mean, you definitely make use of it when you do transformation. I'm just wondering if it's tight. Yeah, so you can make use of it. It's just really tight. Where were we at? He does have like those knee pieces, the knee guards. He does have a swivel here for the foot and tilt. No separate heel articulation. His wheels do roll, but that's really for robot mode. I mean, for alt mode. So we're not going to worry about that. He does have the flip open chest with the matrix. The matrix is also kind of eviled out. Right here. And on the back, it has a translucent red jewel in there, and that also tabs in to the chest as you would expect, and you can close that up. Ah, just one side, there we go, from the tabbing in. Well, and the face sculpt is nice as usual. He does come with the armor set with a big gigantic sword again in that kind of silverish blue with a, the evil matrix kind of embedded in the hilt and it also has that translucent red but yeah that's really it for robot mode uh, i don't want to show off everything for all the modes here and i'm not going to show off transformation just because it's um something i've already done before and i'm probably gonna have to do Instruct the official tra transformation instructions for this. If you want to check those out, you can go ahead and check on uh, the link that I'll put up somewhere around here for the uh, Seraphicus transformation, and you can follow that. It's the same thing. But we will go into the armor really quickly. So the armor is in this power cradle, which is the trailer will actually open this up a pretty cool kind of chamber of armor suit of armor kind of thing we'll go and get them armored up but again i'm not going to do all the transformation we'll go ahead and start with uh let's start with the shoulder pieces i guess take that off 
has two pegs on the shoulders. Go ahead and press down on that to get through secure. This piece here. I always forget if this is supposed to point up or down. I guess we'll point it down, but it has two tabs that go into this shoulder piece here. I think I, I always preferred it pointing up, but again, it's up to you. It works both ways. I'm holding the arm up half the side, at least on video. I like to flip the hands around like this so you don't see his fingers, and then you peg that in here. If you do that, you can see you don't have the hand showing on that side. Let's go ahead and get this piece out on the back. This is the kind of the thigh thickener that comes, comes on and pegs into these slots on the back. I'm tabbing the leg pieces and really quickly, I guess I should show you this. There are actually two different types of chroming going on here. There's like a gold or champagne chrome here, but then some parts have this silver, I think, champagne, uh, silver chrome. And it's very subtle. Like, so this is silver. The wings, the wings are, the wing uh, pieces here are silver. But most of the armor on the chest is gold and the arms and the helmet is silver. So it's very subtle. And uh, at first glance, and maybe some pictures, you might not be able to tell that they're different, but they definitely are. Go ahead and wrap this piece around. Uh, if you like to keep the knee pads down during uh, during his core mode, you do have to extend them up and tab them in like this for the armored up mode. Let's go ahead and get one of the boots out. This one's simple, just tab into the bottom of the foot. All right. The armor comes unpegged on these two side pieces here. And is pegged into the back with four pegs. Oops. Let me just get that out. There we go. Flip this up. And slide this up and over. This piece will come around the chest. down then you can close this back up on both sides make sure it's all the way down okay yeah I think I think we're good this crotch piece just comes around the back like this that's in place. And the helmet up here. Comes some tab in the top to separate into two halves. Uh, with chroming, it does make the tolerances a little bit tighter, which is actually kind of good because some of the tolerances, at least on my original one, are a little loose. Go ahead and put that on the front of his head and on the back of the head. And there we go. You kind of get an idea of what he looks like with armor on this side and without armor on that side. And I'll get him fully armored up. Give me so a here we have Demonicus all armored up. And he's super blinged out. Uh, if, you, if you guys like your bling, then this is going to be your thing. And I just realized that rhymed. Okay, that was really lame. But he's still very cool, even if I'm not with my rhyming. Again... The one thing I want to show you are the differences. So the translucent wings, the yellow gold wings, are now kind of smoky colored, which is kind of cool. Still individually articulated. And you still have the nice articulation going here, there, every which where. And some nice paint details, even on here. So again, the silver pieces. Are on the helmet, this part of the uh, ankle-ish 
piece and then these pieces of the wings and everything else is kind of like this dark champagne chromey gold color so it's very interesting that they went with kind of that mi mi mix of chrome uh i mean it's subtle but it still looks pretty cool I think I personally would have liked it if they kept it one color, but I think they did it just to break it up a, a bit, which I can understand. Comparing him to his good-natured mold. Again, seeing the differences here. So this one had some paint on the translucent wings. This one does not. It's just all all the translucent color and that's really it I mean there are a couple more paint details that aren't on the chrome pieces so like on the hip pieces here these hip missiles these are painted the tips are painted but they're not here which makes sense because you're, you're not probably gonna paint um, chrome that doesn't really happen often I don't think but by and large this looks really really cool so if you like the Cool kind of nemesis decos. If you have a nemesis, nemesis collection, um, I think this will fit in exceptionally well. And it'll be a little bit different, right? Because it's not just the black and and uh, teal and silver. It's also uh, and chrome. It's also like gold and just very different. This nice silvery blue, like I said before. Okay, so we're gonna go and I'm gonna go off camera and switch this guy into his alt and trailer mode. Oh. Should have shown this with him, I guess. Alt in trailer mode, and then we'll just finish off with final review or final thoughts. Here we are in decked out alt mode. And as you would expect, they look pretty much the same, except the deco. So same same thing we're talking about before. Um, all the really same stuff as, to, as far as accessories. Uh, again, the only difference is you don't get those clear swords that you got before. Oh, oops. Let's take out just the core pieces here to take a quick look at them. And some of the translucent pieces like here aren't painted like they are here which I actually prefer. And the bottom looks pretty clean. You don't really see any robotness going on down here. So yeah, that's really it. If you want to, again, attach the trailer or the gun, you can do that on this peg over here. Using this peg here, that attaches like so. It doesn't get a whole lot of left and right turn just going on, going on. That's just because a little bit of interference. If you lift it up and turn and then plug back in, you do get that ability to do that. It just has slight clearance issues on one part. Nothing that you can't work around. All right. So, final thoughts. You know, this guy is an exclusive. Um, there are some retailers that are getting him in the states and probably other international outside of the singapore toy and game and comic convention <laughs> that happened and that's usually the case usually a slightly higher price but in this case i think he's only around 210 which might actually be less or close to i can't remember what the regular version was for and if you recall i actually said that i thought that the core bot itself was a good price but that the power cradle is really expensive and then I recommend getting just the core bot if you liked it. Uh, but in this case, you don't really have an option to do that, right? So it's either whole hog or not. And that really depends on whether you like a Nemesis version of um, your primes. And if you do, this guy will probably fit in really nicely. The deck looks really great. I do, again, like some of the extra blue, gray, silvers that come out of here. The um, addition of the translucent red. And the chrome and black really work much better than than the original colors, I think. And I think you're getting a little bit more in terms of the overall quality. The tolerances are a bit nicer on this figure. The um, chrome, which is obviously a more expensive process, is nicer. You, you're missing some amount of paint apps, but again, they're kind of 
uh, purposeful choices in lieu of the the chrome. And again, the difference in the chrome, the, the two different types of chrome, which is nice. So I would say if you don't have this mold yet and you wanted it, I would get this one. I think it's probably an overall better value and it just looks cooler. Unless again, you want a more traditional Nova Prime, IDW Nova Prime going on. All right. So hopefully that helped you guys with your decision making. If you guys like the review, please give it a thumbs up and a like. Uh, if you guys want to add this to your collection, I'll go ahead and link to Toy Dojo, which I think they should be getting a couple of these. Um, if, if they do, I'll make sure to link that below. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and let me know. And as always, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know, all, of, all these different places to keep up with my toys, toy news and reviews. All right. That's all for today, everyone. Have a good one.